Hello friends and welcome to BrittanyRest.com. Today I am so excited to share with you this verse that has just been on my heart all week. It's been encouraging me and challenging me and inspiring me and I hope that it does the same for you. It's Philippians 3.10 and I'm going to read it to you. It's penned by Paul and he says it with such passion that I hope that I can convey that to you and certainly when you read it on your own that you'll sense this passion that comes from Paul in Philippians again 3 verse 10. For my determined purpose is that I may know him, that I may progressively become more deeply and intimately acquainted with him, perceiving and recognizing and understanding the wonders of his person more strongly and more clearly, and then I may in that way come to know the power outflowing from his resurrection, which it exerts over believers, and that I may so share his sufferings as to be continually transformed in spirit into his likeness, even to his death. Now, when Paul's writing this, again, such passion, but what he is really trying to communicate is that above anything else, my goal in life is to know Christ, to share with Christ, to be like Christ. He's saying that's his goal in life. And frankly, that should be your goal and my goal every single day, to, to know Christ, to be more like Christ. When Paul is using those words to know, and he uses them a few times, he's not talking about this intellectual knowledge. When he uses that, he's using a Greek verb that really is to personally know Christ. So what Paul is saying here is that I want to personally know Christ. I want this deep, intimate relationship with him. I want to know everything that I can about him, who he is, and I really just want to share this life with Christ. I want to share with him. And that's what Paul's talking about. Really, honestly, I hope that that would be at the forefront of our hearts and our minds every day. And I know that we are busy and we get caught up in family and the job and activities and those things are good. But if we're not keeping Christ at the forefront of our hearts, that if we're not doing everything that we do with him in mind, I mean, we're missing, we're missing it. We're missing the mark as believers because we do what we do and we are who we are because of Christ. That's it. So real quickly, I just want to encourage you with uh, three points that I pulled from this, three words. One, pursue, two, understand, and three, share. One, we are to pursue Christ. And Paul talks about that, to pursue Christ. And we pursue Christ by praying, by worshiping, just by spending time with them, as you would spend time with a family member, or you would spend time with um, a friend. Two, it's to understand, and we understand when we read his word, we were given this great tool called the Bible, and it really has pretty much everything we need to know. And when we read the Bible, we begin to understand Christ better, who he is, what he does, why he does what he does, his heart for people. And three, it's to share. And when we share in that relationship with Christ, we are transformed from the inside out. So honestly, spending time with him is the best thing that we could do for ourselves, that we could do for the people around us. And honestly, just spending time with him, we become more like him. Have you ever had a situation where you begin to maybe act like somebody that you spend a lot of time with, a friend or a family member. I know I have. I have this amazing friend, Carrie Beth, from the South, and she is just a true Southern woman, and I love her to pieces, and I say y'all all the time because of her, all the time. Ten years later, I say it. I have these three best friends, Misty, Charity, and Jen. I laugh like Misty and the girls. Um, I just do. I've known Misty for a decade as well. And the truth is, is that when you spend time with somebody, you become more like them. It's just natural. So when you spend time with Christ, you're going to become more like him. And that's an amazing thing. So I want to encourage you with that to pursue, to understand, to share in Christ. And you're going to, your life's going to be transformed. There's going to be further reading and some questions below. I hope that you'll take the time to spend, um, just to read and to, to meditate on that. And I pray that Christ speaks to you in regards to just relationship with him, to pursue him, that today and tomorrow and everything that you do, 
that you would do it for Christ, that you do it with him at the forefront of your mind, and that you'll just make a, your relationship with him the most important thing to you because it will transform your life. All right, I love you, and I will see you next week.